Hello everyone, this is Maureen and welcome to My Crochet Story where I share with you two things that I love, teaching and crochet. Now this is supposed to be Amigurumi Wednesday, but guys, I just could not quite get this little fella finished in time for me to show him to you. So I'm showing him to you a little bit late, but that's okay because we can still say that it's Amigurumi Wednesday just in a different time. But first, before I show you what I've been working on, let me say thank you to all of you for being here. I greatly appreciate your support as always. If you're new to my channel, please take just a moment to look around to see what other videos I have. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and then also look for the bell that has the little hugs on the side so that it always notifies you of when I upload videos. And speaking of my videos, folks, if you do like what you see, don't forget to leave me a little comment in the in the description or in the comment section. Tell me what you like. And then if you would, please share out my video to all of your friends because the more the merrier. And besides that, they may have a little tip or trick that they wish to share with me, and I would certainly love to hear it. All right. So, you all know that I have been participating in um, Anita's uh, over at YOH Crochet. She is our host for 2023's Amigurumi Wars. And uh, this month's host is Judy at oh, WickedPeaceCraft.com, I think. Anyway, her true channel name will be down in the description box. Folks, my memory, you know, it's great until I start recording and then it's like, there it goes. Anyways, uh, Anita chose for this month's designer, Little Muggles. And the patterns on her website are just adorable. They really, really are. So my first one that I chose to enter for this uh, month's points for Amigurumi Wars, this is called Lucky the Horse. And isn't he cute as a button? I made him out of four weight worsted yarn. Uh, my colors were uh, a little bit of a silver gray, a dark brown, and this is a taupe color. Now for his mane, you know me, I had to add in a little bit of color here. So this is a really pretty maroon. I don't know if it's showing up like that here, but he was super, super easy to make. Now, the only alteration I did was, remember from last month's designer, I said I liked that little uh, indent that she does right in here to give the face a little more character, and that's what I chose to do here. I also chose, and rather than using round um, eyes, I gave him a little bit more oval because, folks, if you ever look at a horse's eyes, they are not round. They have that more of an oval shape to it. So that's the reason why mine looks just a little bit different. But, oh my goodness, guys, he is, I just love him. Of course, I love horses anyway, so. Um, but there he is. I had a wonderful time making him. The pattern really was very easy to follow. Now, for me, there was only one hiccup, and that is in making the... Let's see, we did the head first, and um, with this little beige piece, I don't think it was the snout. It might have been on the body. Uh, in one of the section pieces that we were making, she says that in row, in one of the rows, it says repeat every, like every second, uh, in, excuse me, repeat in the following stitches. Uh, stitch number two, stitch number five, stitch number seven, stitch number 11, things like that. And I was like, mm, because it wasn't like, you know, uh, single crochet to increase single crochet. No, she only wanted you to increase in specific uh, stitches in that particular round. So for me, that was a little confusing. Um, I had to sit there and, you know me, or I've said this many times before, when I can't read a problem, I mean a pattern correctly, I will sit down and at least for that row or two that I'm not understanding, I will sit down on a piece of paper and uh, 
put it in a language or in a step-by-step -step procedure that's easier for me to follow. And that's just one little thing that I do because that's kind of how I was taught to crochet. Uh, my grandma always had chart patterns and so I would have to sit there and translate from the chart into written what the pattern was telling me to do. So I have found for me that that comes in very, very handy whenever I'm not understanding what um, I'm supposed to be doing, so I'll just kind of translate it into a language that I understand. But other than that, guys, um, it really, really was a very easy pro uh, pattern to follow. Um, it took me a good three days on working on nothing but this little guy. And yes, I know, I said I wasn't going to do that. I was going to try to work on a little bit of something every day. But like I said before, too, I get started on a project, and this guy was just really so much fun. Every time I made a piece, I wanted to make the next piece because I wanted to put it together. I wanted to see what it's going to look like. So, anyway, I have enjoyed making uh, Lucky the Horse. I did la download several of her patterns, and I downloaded so many that I don't know which one I want to do next. But I will be trying to do one more to try to get... Uh, entered into this month's Amigurumi Wars. And speaking of doing Amigurumis, so I want your opinion. Would you like to just see the finished product of each of the Amigurumis that I choose? Or would you like to see, you know, uh, I've got the head and the snout done and make a comment on what I saw? And then maybe do the belly or do the hooves or do the, the ears. You know, film every time I've completed a little section and then just make one video where I put it all together where you can see the process of it being made and built together. Now, I can't show you the pattern because, you know, it's not mine to do. But I can show you what I have accomplished along the way in building up the Amigurumis. So if that's something you would be interested in seeing, please leave a comment down in the, the comment section to let me know. I mean, otherwise, if it's not something you're interested in, then I will just pop on and tell you the pattern I've chosen, where you can find it, and then show you the end result. Okay? So let me know which one would you prefer, and then we'll see how things go here in the next few weeks. Well, that's all I have to, to show you about Lucky. Be looking for him on this month's uh, host for the Amigurumi Wars. And again, I just know her name is Judy, but I will leave her uh, channel link down in the description box. And folks, please be sure to go and look up our monthly supporters for Anita's um, Amigurumi Wars 2023. And if you don't have them, Go and check them out. If you like what you see, be sure and subscribe. Because let me tell you something. Hosting a contest, even if it's just for a month, is something as big as Amigurumi Wars. It takes a lot of work. And we all need to support those that are willing to do the Amigurumi Wars each month. So, from Lucky and I, be the light out there in the darkness for someone today. Because you never know could be your light that they are meant to see. I love you all. Bye.